If you're looking at buying a house that has a concrete swimming pool and the interior surface of that concrete swimming pool in its entirety is tile, that's actually very valuable. A lot of people don't realize that, that tile is a the, the most superior interior surface that you can buy for a swimming pool. And that's why it's often used for commercial applications. It's really costly, but nothing is going to beat the longevity that you get out of properly installed tile in a swimming pool. Um, the down downside is is that it's super expensive. Um, where where I'm located in in Ontario, Canada, uh, if you were to ask some local builders, well, what's the what's the what's the best interior surface that money can buy for a swimming pool? Most of them will tell you plaster or uh, a pebble solution or exposed aggregate or marbleite or marsite. There's all sorts of names for it. Um, and that's relative to the services that they offer to you. I find that really funny when I hear customers saying to me, well, I want plaster because that's the best, that's the best interior surface that money can buy. And I say, well, if, if I had an, an estimate to install a swimming pool with a plaster interior surface, and I said, well, I know plaster's the best, but I want tile anyway, if tile wasn't as good as plaster, how come tile is on the average residential swimming pool, an additional thirty to $70,000 more than a plaster interior surface. It's, uh, it's undervalued tremendously in the residential market just how luxurious an interior surface of tile is. I mean, whether you prefer it or not is, is one thing. That's, that's just um, preference. Maybe you don't like that the tile feels sharp on your feet or something like that. That's, uh, that's definitely your choice to make. But the reality is from a cost perspective and a longevity perspective, nothing beats tile. Uh, tile will outlast every other interior surface, but when it comes time to renovate it, it's expensive. If you had an, uh, an interior surface on a concrete swimming pool where those tiles were all failing and all needed to come out, you would be looking at a massive uh, costly proposition to do that. You'd probably end up getting quotes from guys to put new tiles right over top of the old tiles, which if the old tiles are falling off, how's that gonna, how's that gonna work out for the new tiles? It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but you'll get quotes like that because the actual cost of fixing the problem is so large. You have to strip off all the entire uh, interior surface, uh, potentially sandblast all the old um, thin set that was used for the old tiles, do an entire new mud base over the entire interior surface of the pool, and then tile it. And again, you'd be talking any, anywhere from thirty to $70,000 for an interior surface such as that. So if you're inspecting a concrete pool and it has an all-tile interior surface, this is either very good or very bad, and that's what this video is about. Basically, if, if, if everything's perfect, those tiles look beautiful, nothing's delaminated, there's no crack tiles, there's no tiles that are missing, anything like that. It doesn't feel like there's sharp edges. What about the grout joints between the tiles? Is there grout everywhere or is there grout missing? Is there cracked pieces missing? Is the grout all stained and looking to, like it needs to be redone? You know, these are the questions that I'm looking at. What if there's two layers of tile? Can you tell if somebody's maybe tiled with new tiles over top of old tiles, which is not the kind of thing that you want to get into? It would save you a lot of money, but it would definitely be a band-aid on a bigger problem. Uh, so if you if you have an interior surface of your swimming pool that's all tile and you're thinking of buying that, it's got to look perfect. It's got to look perfect or maybe you need to know how old those tiles are. Um, tiles can last a long time, but... If you need, if you if you find out that after the fact you buy it and in fact 30% of the tiles in the pool are delaminated, you just bought yourself, you know, uh, you just way more, way more than you want to spend. I, you know, it's impossible to put a number on it depending on where you're located, size of the pool, stuff like that. But ultimately, it's not a problem that you want to have. So if you even think that there's an, a problem with the interior surface of an all tile swimming pool, an expert has to look at this before you buy the house. Don't even think about buying it. You could be buying yourself a huge problem. That being said, if it looks really good to you, the grout joints look good, there's no sharp sharp tiles, cracked tiles, missing tiles, um, 
staining. There's no staining or anything like that. There's no efflorescence growth or calcium growth that looks like it's happening on the tiles. These are all indications that the tiles are actually in really good condition. And if that's the case, if you can buy a house that has an all tile swimming pool, you just buy yourself the Cadillac of swimming pools. There's, there's essentially nothing better in the residential market than a uh, concrete swimming pool that's all tile on the interior surface. So it's definitely worth looking into, but you got to be careful because you don't want to buy yourself a big problem.